Post-World War II, uh, we had just kind of became a massive industrial and manufacturing society. Uh, the conditions for employment were essentially, you know, common sense, able-bodied, uh, you know, arguably you wouldn't even need a high school degree uh, to get, you know, great jobs. There was these awesome manufacturing jobs, it was kind of a world of, of building new things, bridges, dams, you know, a whole, uh, you know, uh, a new set of industries. And the notion was that you joined a company and in that company, you essentially worked your life in that company. It became a lifetime alliance by which you would say, okay, I will work my way up, learn new skills, the company will invest in me, I will learn to do those things, and then I will in turn, you know, try to get as high up in the company as possible and make the company as successful as possible. And that was the golden era of American industry. The notion of working for one company for your entire life is now extremely rare. It's now the uh, rare exception case versus the common case. And so the notion is, is that you may not only work at multiple companies in your career, you may work at multiple industries. Uh, industries are changing, your own path changes. Uh, you may not actually, in fact, do a lot of your work uh, fully as an employee. You may actually be working in the gig economy or you may have two or three gigs. All of these things are the directional changes for what we've seen in the workforce for the last few decades. And it actually does create um, a lot of opportunity. It does create a lot of productivity, but it also creates a lot of uncertainty and people like stability. And so, you know, one of our challenges as we figure out is how do we minimize a little bit of the uncertainty, increase a little bit of stability while continuing to have the kind of opportunity, productivity and flexibility. In 30 years, I think the future will look a lot different than it's looked in the last 30 years because I think we're accelerating. I think we're gonna see a lot more of of kind of classic uh, jobs that uh, kind of learn the job and then just do it year after year, a lot of those jobs are going to change their nature by how automation either takes the job completely or changes the way that people do jobs. And I think that transition is the thing that we need to help prepare the entire workforce and all of society for. The future is going to require some very important normative changes, some ways that we think about how we value things. Having a future, a great society, a place that will make us proud to be part of this society. I think some of it is understanding that in these, in these uh, translocutions, some people get left further behind than others, and how do you help them uh, be part of the future? And that doesn't mean welfare. That means uh, opportunities, that means entrepreneurship, that means training, <laughs> right? That means the, here, let's help keep you alive and in the game. And, uh, and I think that's completely doable. I just think that means that we all have to have that as a value.